The Constitutional Court has ruled that the trial of the three soldiers charged with the murder of a chartered accountant, Keith Clark, should proceed after declaring early Tuesday that certificates of immunity issued in 2016 are null and void. The trial was halted to allow the Constitutional Court to rule on the validity of the certificates issued by then-National Security Minister Peter Bunting, protecting members of the security forces involved in the 2010 Tivoli Gardens operations from a prosecution. Justice Leighton Pusey delivered the ruling. A majority of the court concludes that, one, in the circumstances of this case, the issuing of the good faith certificates was manifestly unfair and unreasonable, and therefore the good faith certificates are null, void, and invalid. Two, the defendants, this is the first three defendants, may not rely upon the good faith certificates at the trial of this matter. The court goes on to say it is hereby ordered as follows, that the criminal trial initiated by virtue of the voluntary bill of indictment originally issued in July 2012 by the Director of Public Prosecutions should be restored to the trial list and be permitted to continue. Two, that the good faith certificates or any certificate issued on the 22nd of February 2016 by the Minister of National Security outside of the emergency period were issued in circumstances that were manifestly unreasonable and unfair and are therefore null and void and without effect. The ruling was streamed live. The certificates of immunity were issued after the soldiers were arrested and charged with the fatal shooting of Mr. Clark at his Kirkland Heights St. Andrew residence on May 27, 2010. Members of the security forces went to his house during the search for Christopher Dudas Koch, who was wanted by U.S. prosecutors. And the Constitutional Court also ruled on the Director of Public Prosecutions a challenge that immunity certificates cannot block her office from prosecuting the soldiers. This court concludes that, one, the minister's power to issue good faith certificates under the emergency powers regulations do not infringe and are not in conflict with the principle of separation of powers enshrined in the Constitution. Two, the emergency powers regulations do not infringe on the prosecutorial powers of the Director of Public Prosecutions under the Constitution. Three, the criminal proceedings should be restored to the trial list. Carrie Simpson, Frontline News.